here it is. Another high profile first person shooter that was given such a level of hype that the game would no doubt fail to live up to it. Like Killzone before it, MAG was promised to be the defining first person shooter of the generation. The end all, be all of online battles. The game that could solve world hunger and the Nigerian Delta oil spills. I know these sound crazy, but that was the game's expectations and what the game was compared to. And because the game could not live up to it, it was viewed as a failure. Well, it was actually a pretty solid shooter. No one would help me. MAG is an acronym for Massive Action Game, and if there is anything that is not up for debate, it is that. The main hook of the game is its sheer size, with some battles consisting of up to 256 players. This sounds like it would be absolute chaos, but the game does a great job keeping things organized, or as organized as online shooters can be. From the get-go, you create your character and choose one of three factions, either Raven, SVER, or Valor Company. Each has their own unique abilities and plays somewhat different. But don't take this decision lightly, because what faction you choose is who you are stuck with for that character. The only way to play as a separate faction is to either delete your character and all their progress, or to buy a new character slot from the PSN. The game offers three different game modes, Domination, Suppression, and Acquisition, each involving different objectives which have you either defending or destroying. Acquisition I found to be the most interesting, having each team trying to bring an armored vehicle back to their base. While the game modes are varied and interesting, most of the players will treat the mode simply like Team Deathmatch. But the game is much more fun when you play with a squad of friends, working together to carry out objectives. Like most online shooters these days, there is a leveling system which unlocks new weapons and gear as you rank up, and if you are ranked high enough, more things like being able to be the squad leader are available. You get what you put into mech. If you go in to mess around, Everything could feel a little disjointed and underwhelming, but if you put in the time to learn the game, build up a squad of friends, and work to complete objectives, it can be one of the deepest and most satisfying shooters available.